um, DIRGLAB uh, is the, um, for its uh, stable release. Uh, so the relation between uh, the count of line of code on each language in this release by the uh, count of line of code in Debian HAM. So in Debian HAM, Debian 2.0, uh, uh, this graph is one in all cases. <coughs> well, uh, uh, then uh, we can use uh, the, um, the numbers in MSLOX uh, we can measure on Debian to uh, estimate the effort for making uh, a Debian distribution from scratch. Um, you can see uh, that uh, Debian search effort is, uh, or Debian search cost is about uh, 10 times uh, more than Debian HAM. And, <clears throat> um, well, um, some words about the, the estimation technique. Um, this estimation technique uh, was designed by, by Bohem in 1981. So this uh, estimation technique is old and, um, and the result must be considered uh, with caution. Uh, as a summary, uh, this uh, method uh, takes a input, uh, takes uh, the number or, uh, of MS log and apply a set of formulas and obtain uh, the effort in many years and the time of, de of development, estimated time of development in years. Um, so uh, by doing a trivial computation, we can obtain um, with uh, the average salary of a programmer, we can obtain the cost uh, in millions of dollars. Um, it's interesting to uh, compare the um, Debian size um, with uh, other other operating systems, uh, both uh, free, libre, and proprietary. Um, there exists a similar study on Red Hat distribution done by uh, David Wheeler. So uh, we have uh, we have using this data until now, um, but now we have uh, a modern version of Red Hat that is uh, Fedora, Fedora Code, <clears throat> and uh, you can see that. Um, Debian and uh, Fedora Code, uh, which is uh, contemporary, Debian is much larger than uh, Fedora. The third column is the number of MS logs of each, uh, each system. Also, we can compare uh, the Debian releases with proprietary, uh, proprietary system. Um, in some, uh, we can uh, we can find the the numbers for proprietary system in some uh, in some other bibliography and computer magazines. Uh, for those, uh, we must use the the numbers also with caution because the unavailability of source code and uh, the scope of this system. Uh, in Debian, you can find all the user needs. And uh, in, for example, in Microsoft Windows, you can find only the operating system with uh, a small quantity of uh, uh, user application. So this, this number in general uh, must be considered uh, with calcium. However, you can, you can see that uh, the last, the last uh, release of uh, Windows, Windows XP, uh, is also smaller very smaller, uh, much smaller that, uh, than uh, Debian releases since uh, Potato. Also, we, ha we have, uh, a month ago, we have uh, measured the Open Solaris 
and you can see that it's open solaris is uh, small it's smaller uh, note that it's open solaris uh, only include uh, includes um, the kernel source and some uh, the, the user command of unix and uh, this number must not to be considered <coughs> well finally um we, we have another research in um, the copyright analysis uh, from the source code uh, of Debian and other software. Um, the methodology is, uh, is again to download the package and select the package and do an, and do an a header analysis of uh, its uh, file and using the Pyternity, the Pyternity tool, um, uh, we can search the uh, auto ship pattern. And this tool is not published yet, and uh, is a research project of uh, our group. Well, um, the result uh, is uh, yet on, on this it's a early stage of research. So uh, this result also must be taken with caution. Um, we can offer here uh, two slides. First, uh, uh, shows the, um, the copyright, the most important, the most frequent copyrights found in Debian HAM. And the next shows us the copyright found in Debian SARS. Um, as a first approach uh, for results, um, we see as, uh, that um, the enterprise collaboration are growing more than that, uh, more than other groups, and also about the, the half of code is. Uh, is from individual individual developers. <clears throat> well, uh, these are the these are, uh, these are the address uh, for the, um, the tools uh, we use for this measure. The, um, first, you can find in Debian the slot count tool. Uh, since the um, Debian ham, the no, Debian potato, I think, and the copyright analysis, as uh, we said, uh, can be done with Pythonity. And uh, on these addresses, um, you will can uh, you will um, you can find the um, the tool in um, I think in a month or two months. Oh, it is not published yet. <clears throat> also, in uh, our main uh, web page, uh, you can find uh, more uh, tools uh, for um, uh, th uh, those uh, that we name um, Libre Software Engineering. <clears throat> um, finally, uh, I, I, I wish to show uh, you uh, this address um, where you can find the concrete numbers uh, for this for this talk <clears throat> um, in the page you can select uh, any, any distribution any Debian distribution since ham to SAR and then uh, for example in SAR You can see the statistics uh, we have measured. For example, in the link statistics, uh, this, is, uh, this is the global statistic: the number of messages packets, the number of files, uh, the number of uh, m slots, uh, well, the number of slots, um, mean values, and the the language the language uh, distribution. <clears throat> uh, 
Also, you can see this, uh, this result for age uh, packers. <clears throat> for example, you can select the first, uh, the, the first, the most cited packer, which is uh, open office. And then, our MySQL <laughs> is, <laughs> is doing the query. <clears throat> I can't call <laughs> to the system administrator reboot. <laughs> Okay. Well, for each package, you can see pues, uh, uh, about the the language distribution and the global the global numbers for each package uh, and the estimate cost. Yes, the last line, the estimate cost for these packages in dollars, with um, an average salary um, is from uh, the 2000 years. <clears throat> and now, no, I don't know if graphs, so yes. Well, for example, yes, these graphs are not, are not very, very, very good. I really like them. Well. So, yeah. the the conclusions about this talk, um, about the evolution of the Debian distribution, is as are uh, this. First, Debian duplicate is size every two years. The mean package size, second, the mean package size remain almost constant. Uh, C is the main language. Uh, but um, other languages uh, grow more quickly, mainly uh, those interpreted. Um, the most important conclusion is Debian in Linux is probably, is probably the biggest software system create, uh, created until date by a coordinated uh, group of people. And about the, the um, copyright analysis, about the half of copyrights belong to the individual, individual developers and the enterpr enterprise collaboration growth between more than the individual developers and so. Well, uh, uh, oh, I, uh, once again, our, our internet addresses and the book of, about Kokomo with uh, if you, if you wish to, to know more about this uh, old estimation technique. <clears throat> well, thank you. We still have a bit of time. Is, are there any questions for Juan? Anywhere. Oh, actually, I have a question. Do you have any statistics about the localization? Um, I don't understand. Sorry, I said. Um, um, uh, yes. Um, the question is that: uh, Have you got any statistics um, about the localization issues? For instance, the number of languages that are covered by free software uh, versus commercial operating sy system, for instance. Acerca de, perdona, es que no te digo. Las traducciones. Uh, no, no, not yet. Is, is that planned, though? And? Eh? Are there plans to do that? No te entiendo. Uh, pues mira. 
for. <laughs> I guess my universal translator doesn't quite I work mean, well sorry. today. <laughs> Bubble fish to the rescue. <laughs> Uh, not at the moment, but, but uh, in, in the next phase, perhaps of the pro the project for for Edge, uh -huh. maybe. Well, the problem is uh, usually uh, um, we count only the short codes and obtain statistics about the um, the programming language and. and uh, so uh, they go to the, the, the software engineering. Right. However, um, we have another tool, uh, the QBase uh, Analyst, QBase Analyze. And, and in this tool, uh, we have uh, the, identi the identification of the, the, um, of the, uh, translate in E18 in the US. Yeah, uh, statistic, but not for each language, for each uh, language. Because no. I was thinking no. that one interesting statistics to gather for starting with the next Debian release would be on the number of PO files. I mean, by counting the number of PO files that exist for a given piece of software and making statistics about that, then you would be able to compile exactly how, ma how many languages are covered proportionally basically over, let's say, um, what m the main repository in, in Debian contains that you have statistics that, okay, English obviously is covered for everything because it's the default, but then let's let's say that uh, uh, how big of a percentage of, of the whole main repository, for instance, supports French, uh, Spanish, and so forth, and Trav. Oh, yeah. It's just a suggestion. I was wondering if that was planned, but I think it, would be, it could be an interesting development to do for the next uh, Debian release. Yeah. Una sugerencia que sería interesante tal vez ver un diagrama de y los idiomas más soportados y en qué porcentaje, por ejemplo, y qué Menos. falta por el idioma, ah, qué, sí, qué sí, porcentaje sí, sí, y qué falta completar, así. Sí, hay un bueno, si la idea es interesante, yeah. una sugerencia. Uh, okay. Yeah. I can <laughs> take note of, of okay. this, okay. Um. But anyhow, I'd like to thank you for your presentation. Um, now, is uh, Andras Bart around here? Is he back from Lamshint? Nope, okay. He better be. He better be. <laughs> Could anyone try to phone him, please, and see if he's on his way? I unfortunately don't have his number myself. Okay. Yes, uh, unless there's other questions, we still have time until we find our next speaker. How do you control situations where actually same source code is counted two times? For instance, uh, OpenOffice.org and OpenOffice.org Simeon Evolution, uh, Simeon uh, Edition. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we, we can only uh, um, open office. Uh, open office is is, uh, is not repeated. No. Uh, well, uh, other and, and most of practice, uh, we have the developed a uh, developed a heuristic to um, identify identify um, the um, packages with the, with code shared. For example, uh, Moth, uh, Mozilla, Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox, but in OpenOffice, is, uh, uh, the source package is one, only one. I, I remember, no? Okay, this uh, 
situation can come in the same package uh, also. Uh, same situation can be found with uh, one packet package also when uh, there Acá are dice que dentro del paquete código fuente duplicado se refiere a eso ah yeah. there the um, slot count tool uh, okay uh, yeah identify uh, uh, identical files uh, with MD5 uh, code uh, in a package. What I meant was that slot can, cannot handle uh, if uh, there are two times same source code. It only counts uh, uh, physical source code uh, lines, but it uh, don't handle if there are the same uh, line two times. Okay. No, no, no. So, two different files uh, in one line is uh, ever two files. And yes. Uh, I, uh, uh, there are, there are uh, another, there are another, another, um, another tool to. Uh, Another code similar to MD5, which is Simsa, uh, um, that um, show the um, when when two files are very similar, the code is very similar. Okay, so um, slot count doesn't use uh, use this this code. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we will take a short five-minute break for those who are... Uh... Yes, well, we just switched laptops <laughs> during that short five minutes. <laughs> so uh, we'll start then the next presentation in five minutes. <laughs>